All right, guys, we're on the home straight now with Stoke City. We're in good form in the league, up in the dizzy heights of seventh place. And we look like we might have an outside chance of Champions League football. And two victories today will go a long way towards doing that. Hey guys, welcome back to Small Football Manager 2018 in part 6 of season 10 of The Journeyman with Stoke City. And today we have two huge matches in the Premier League, one against Everton and one against West Ham. Everton are just below us in the league, uh, so if we can beat them that will be a, a really good result for us. And West Ham are currently occupying 4th place, we're currently 12 points behind that, but uh, two, victory, two games in hand, so you know we could close to within six points of that if we win both matches today we're certainly looking like we might be in contention for these European places but probably more likely sixth than anything else so since the last episode there's been a, a couple of matches um, we lost 3-0 against Liverpool a really poor performance but then we had nearly a month off I think it was 21 days we had between the Liverpool and uh, Middlesbrough 22 days sorry between the Liverpool and Middlesbrough match, which is crazy, but we came back with a 4-1 victory, Ugarte getting three and Super Mario scoring an absolute scream out. It was fantastic. What a goal that was. And then we uh, most recently drew 1-1 with a Champions League qualifiers last year, Leicester City, with Ugarte getting another goal there, meaning that he's now our top scorer at the club. So very interesting, and hopefully Paul Glatzel has a bit of a point to prove today. So, Delgadillo will start in goal with Price, Vema, Mustafi and Parsons in defence. We've then got Rizvanovic and Super Mario in midfield with De Carvalho and Son Hyung Min starting wide of Ugarte and Glatzel. Glatzel pardon me. Neres is um, injured. I don't know if you've seen there. Um, he's, he's got a minor knock, so we're going to rest him for this game and we're going to bring him back for the West Ham game. Meaning that we are a bit bare bones for wingers at the moment. Um, Son Hyung Min, I mean, everybody's just playing poorly apart from Neres. So we're switching it up a little bit today, putting Son Hyung Min in there and Romeo Carvalho, who hasn't really had a fair shot this season. So we might give him a little run in the side um, and maybe move Neres over to the left hand side. But. Who knows what will work. Here's Rizvanovic now to Super Mario. Rizvanovic again. Back to Mustafi now. Mustafi forward to Rizvanovic. Forward to Ugarte. Mm. Rossi back to Hall now. Everton obviously. I think may. Did they qualify for the Champions League last year? Maybe not. They certainly. They did a couple of years ago though didn't they? Yeah they did. They certainly did a couple of years ago. And they were the ones that denied us the Champions League place. Um, when we had that season where we finished seventh, so um, yeah, Everton are a good side, and we we need to keep an eye on them. Uh, oof, over the bar, um, and the, this they'll certainly be all right going forward. But hopefully, you know, we can get the the ball in Ugarte's path and uh, manage to 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 get something. He has Grando forward and Mino. Oh, this. Could be an Everton chance. Oh, what a save. What a triple save. Wow. That was fantastic. I need to wind that back slightly. We'll watch this highlight again because that was incredible goalkeeping. So it went to Mino. Onomar, Grando. And then Mino. And Grando took it out wide. Put it in. Bonaventura. That was sensational from Delgadillo. Because he was born in Puerto Rico and all of that. Um... That was sensational goalkeeping. And if he's not over a 7 for that, and he's not, that is seriously annoying. Because <laughs> that was sensational. I can't put it any, any other way. What a triple. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Ugarte is injured. 
that could spell the end of our hopes this season because he's the only one that's been scoring recently. Glatzel sort of went off the boil this season, it has to be said. Um, you know, he's still scoring a, a hell of a lot of goals and he's probably going to get to 20 for the season, which is, is great, but by Paul Glatzel's standards, not great. Um, you know, maybe he is the, the new Michael Owen, the sort of guy that peaked too young, but Everton have went 1-0 up, and we've been completely outplayed in this first half, it's fair to say, um, and just nobody's p playing particularly well. Obviously, we had that great triple save before, um, but you can't keep them out all the time, so... Yeah, we need to get back into this, and here's Paul Glatzel with a chance to shut up the cricket critics and doesn't manage to take it. So, 1-0, it'll be going into half-time. We need to turn that around. Um, so, we'll bring them in. We'll give them the good old Hannah Drolligan at half-time. John Parsons is injured as well, but there's nothing I can really do about that. <sighs> I mean, none of these are really... Game changers. That's the the main problem we have with the squad. Maybe we just go without wingers. Possibly pit player four three one two. We'll give it ten minutes. I think we have got just about the players to be able to do that. Right, fifty five minutes gone. We're going to switch to four three one two. We're going to change tactic. Uh, so we'll bring on Ross Barkley. Uh, we'll play Super Mario. No. I think we'll play Rizvanovic in behind the striker. We'll play... Um, not Sterling. I want Ross Barkley there. We'll play Ross Barkley there. Play him as a deep line player maker on support. Maybe on defend, actually. Um, surely somebody else can play midfield. Uh... Paul Glatzel, you're not playing that well up front today. So you can play in the midfield as a box-to-box. -box. Why not? And we'll put Anus Unal up top. Swap them two round, and there you go. That's what we'll go for. Um, exploit the middle. We'll push a bit higher up. We'll be a bit more expressive. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see how this works. Because we're, we've been completely outplayed so far. So we need to get out there. We need to, to change something. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to play 4-3-1-2. We'll see what happens. Here's Barkley. Now Parsons. Mustafi. Mustafi. Now to Parsons. Here's Super Mario to Gomez. Gomez on the ball. Rizvanovic. Glatzel. I've just thought we can play Glatzel in behind the striker. And that might be a better move and play... Somebody that can actually play a centre mid in centre midfield. But here's Gomez forward to Anus Unal. And that was a chance. Right. So let's do that with that in mind. So we'll play Rizvanovic there. And we'll play Ross Barkley as a box to boxer. And we'll play him as a shadow striker. Or do we... We might go 4-3-3 for the last 15 minutes if we still can't produce anything. Apparently not. So, Paul Glatzel, you're back up top, son. So, we'll play him there. We'll put Anus Unal as a poacher in the middle. So, we've got two advanced forwards and a poacher. We might even go towards doing that again. Uh, play a 4-2-1-3. Go overload. Very fluid. I know I've fiddled a lot with the tactics this this episode, but this is a really important game. Even if we get a point out of this, it it's gonna help us. Here's Price. Now is Vanovic. Price gets it forward all the way, but only to one of their players. Onomar. Onomar forward to Gando. Oof, great save by Delgadillo. I tell you what, if we get anything out of this game, we will have completely mugged Everton because they've just dominated. They've been they've been the much better side. That that's offside, surely. Are we? Oh, that's Diego Diego Costa. I think. Um, we're gonna see the the replay, and we're gonna see if they were offside. Very much, very much so. 
Um, demand more. I don't know what else to do. Um, don't know. Shoot on site, I guess. We're at that stage now. Ten minutes to go. Sorry, five minutes to go. But probably without a time, we'll have a little bit more. Um, play Ross Barkley there. Super Mario in in there. And this is a, a suicidal tactic, really. But we've got to try and do something. We're just not creating the chances. And it is a big, big shame. But it looks like we are going to get beat here. Unless we can get a late equaliser. He has Rizvanovic. And that's it. Full time. What a disappointing performance. We really should have won that. Um, but alas, we haven't. And now we're going to have to go and beat West Ham. Alright guys, now I know for the last couple of episodes, the, there's been a little spike of, uh, of daylight that you can see. And that probably ruins with the illusion of the green screen. So I really apologise about that. A uh, couple of changes to let you know about today. We've got Ben Chilwell uh, coming back from suspension at left back. We really needed him. Inesu now goes on to the left-hand side. Robertson Gomez goes up front for the injured Ugarte, who's out for, I hate to say it, probably the rest of the season, four or six weeks. Nerez comes back from injury as well. Um, and we got quite a funny message, actually. Um, where is it? There, relegation scraps. Uh, relegation scrap approaches final battle. We're still in the relegation scrap. This looks insane. You know, we're already nine points clear. If we were to lose every game from now, we probably would get relegated. That's how crazy it is. Uh, Wolves on 36, West Brom and Middlesbrough probably gone. Um, West Brom, I guess, could pull it back. Middlesbrough are definitely gone, but look at the form of West Brom. I think they're gone as well. Five games to go, but look how many teams could go down. The likes of Southampton, Watford in there. Uh, Everton could even go down. Leicester, who qualified for the Champions League last year, could go down. So there's plenty of teams that could go down. Hopefully, we won't be one of them. And we need to have a good performance against West Ham today. We, we just looked out of it last time. We didn't um, look particularly strong. And I think... Um, I think we need to play a lot better. I've pressed the wrong button, and I've told them I expect them to win. Ouch. Um, hmm. I don't think that's going to go particularly well. Although Glatzel puts in a cross for Robertson Gomez early on, that's the sort of creativity we need. If we win today, we do go back up um, to, I think, sixth position, you know, because we had two games at hand, of, of, of course. So... Uh, no, we won't quite go up to 6th. We'll go up to 7th, though, which would be uh, a really good performance. Here's Rizvanovic. Now Super Mario 4 to Robertson. Gomez. Gomez. It's Glatzel. It's in. It's in. It doesn't matter how it goes in, but it is in. And Paul Glatzel manages to put it into the back of the net. It's 1-0. Oh, what a big goal that could be. Super Mario with the ball forward. Robertson Gomez. A lovely cross in. Glatzel did his best to try and miss it. But it went in on the underside of the bar and we're 1-0 up. Come on. Um, it looks like the rest of the league are playing today as well. So I was lying to you. We may not go up to 7th. Uh, we might do. We might do, depending on how, how things go elsewhere. But, um, yeah, we, we're not, we, we haven't played our game in hand yet. And I think our game in hand is against Man United. So let's just assume we lose that game. Here's Glatzel. Glatzel on the ball. Glatzel, mm, that should have been better, to be honest. Here's Price. Can he get forward? He certainly can. David Neres into the middle. It's in. It's 2-0 it's within 20 minutes. What a start this is for us. And this puts us within a point of Arsenal in sixth place, which is great stuff for us. David Neres, lovely cross in. In a Zunal. Nuts it in. 2 nil. Come on. Good stuff. Here's Price. Price to Rizvanovic. Into the middle. It's away. Here's Super Mario. Super Mario on the ball. Keeps going forward. Here's Anasu now. Forward to Robertson Gomez. Mm. Rizvanovic. Gets it forward to Neres. Mm. Dalton now. Dalton. Good 
interception by Price. Vim at the Neres now. Neres forward to Glatzel. This is a chance for another one. Neres forward to Gomez. Please just score. Yes, yeah, seeing as soon I'll get his second. Maybe he's the solution to the wingers. Uh, we put him on the left hand side today as our inside forward. I mean, enough people had a go at it, but uh, Gomez with the, the final cross, a lovely little header. We're, we're the king of headers today, apparently. Um, and 3 0. What can we say? What can we say? This is brilliant stuff. What a start. This is the team that are in fourth place in the league. This isn't the West Ham side that you know. They are probably going to qualify for Champions League football this year. And we're stuffing them. 3-0 within the first 20 minutes. Good stuff. Really good stuff. Now, here's Garcia. Four to Herrera now. Herrera to Dalton. Good tackle. Super Mario gets it away. Here's Herrera again. Herrera on the ball, forward to Shap. Now to Dalton over the bar. Hoo -hoo. Now Dalton used to play for Blackburn Rovers, so he's certainly um, had his fair share of goals against us when we've played against him before. So hopefully that won't happen today. I think he's scored something like 21 goals this season as well. So he's having a really, really good season. Um, we'll tell them not to be complacent. I think that's fair enough. Um... I mean, look at that. We are absolutely mugging this game. How are we winning? We've only had four shots. We have been clinical. Um, and we're certainly looking all right. We're going to go counter-attacking because I don't want West Ham to necessarily get back into the game here. Here's Ford. Ford to Samba now. Samba to Herrera to... Whatever his name was, but a good save by Delgadillo. Chilwell gets it away now. In Asunal. Boot it, son. He boots it forward to Glatzel. This is a chance to get it in. Glatzel to Gomez. Oh. 4-0. And there's no way that we're losing this game. 3-0. It's still a possibility. Here's Sharp. Chill well away. Here's Gold now. Ryan Gold forward to Sharp. Sharp to Garcia. To Gold. Oh. Just chase him out wide. That's it. <laughs> he gets it back to Samper. Now Trajano, it's Dalton that's in, and I told you, this Dalton guy, he is certainly a handful, and uh, that was a good goal. It is just lagging slightly, so I will just skip that, because we don't want to watch a West Ham United goal. Who would ever want to watch that? Um, 15 minutes to go now. Hmm... I think Rizvanovic is going to come off. We'll put Ross Barkley on. We'll take Robertson Gomez off as well. Maybe get the, the partnership going up front. Aston and Glatzel. We'll see what that does. Um, and we'll stick with that for now. Um, and maybe make another change with five minutes left or whatever. Here's Super Mario. Forward to Glatzel. In a Zunal over the bar. Um, but this is this is the kind of performance I wanted to see from us today. After the disappointment of Everton. Um, we've come back today. We've we've shown a bit of fight. We've scored some goals. And here's Paul Glatzel. Can he get another one? Oh, Paul. <laughs> Paul. How did he miss both of those? Chilwell, Super Mario, Barkley. Oh, here's Ford now. On the counter-attack. This is a good chance for West Ham if they score another one. Oh, it hits the post. How have they not got back into this? We're going to go contain. Gold into the middle. It's away. Here's Sharp. No. Barkley away. Gold. Get it away. Gold. Now Ford. Sharp. Oh, it's wide. Mm. Come on, boys. Three minutes of added time. Aston has off the pitch. He's looking a bit... Oh, my goodness me. Right, substitution o'clock. Uh, Aston has picked up a knock of some sort. What a buffoon. Um, right, he's coming off again. And we're going to put Rob Holden in. Um, like that. That should be fine, hopefully. Uh, go route one, because we don't want the ball at all. Playing safer. Right. So Aston can come off. Rob Holden can come on. 
Delgadillo gets it away towards Neres. And that's full time. It's 3-2. What a massive victory that is. And boy, did we get away with that. Whew. That was a really special performance. And we can be really proud of that. And who knows? How far can we get? Let me know down in the comments where you think we are going to finish this season. And tomorrow's episode will be the finale with Stoke. Our final uh, two games in charge of them before we move on to a new chapter. If you have enjoyed that, make sure you do leave a like down below. It really, really does help out the channel and it means a lot to me as well. 15 likes would mean the absolute world. So if you have enjoyed, hit that like button. It only takes a couple of seconds and it really does help me out. Subscribe if you'd like to see more and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.